Welcome back to the channel guys. In the last video you saw, we were just um, restarting the Samba and we we're getting it all wired up and getting the interior bits back in. A little, little few things left on that now, which is super exciting because that's going to be going. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about the two vans that we've got. We've got quite a lot of work going into both of them. Self was looking after one of them and Will is looking after the other. Yeah. We'll be wiring in the amps today um, and also routing the DRC and then and um, we've got the sub box spacer over there which we'll be putting in as well and will is working on the center console aren't you this is for the center console it's going to stand upright uh, in the in the center of the center of the center console you've got three sections to do it uh, and it's going to have two ipads which sit on the end okay so this is my van guys as you can see it's in a lot of pieces <laughs> but we've got brand new black door cards ready to go on and um, we're getting the A pillars that are being trimmed today. Hopefully I might try and get the pocket done today as well. That'll be good. Um, the amps are going under the seat of the drivers. So we've already made an amp rack down there ready for it to go. Um, and then on the passenger side, I'm not sure what we're gonna put under there yet, but we might end up putting a couple of bits. And as you can see, it's all been soundproofed as well. Uh, the roof's been soundproofed all the way back and the floor. And um, we did the front cabin last week and now we've got the doors done as well. So when his audio is fired up, he's running the thesis all round. It's going to sound brilliant. So this is the sub box spacer that we're going to be putting into the black van that's outside. So what it is, is the original center console parts. And we've obviously have to chop and change quite a bit of it. Um, and then we drag it down on face. So you've got the sub in the center. These fit very, very well. They're very, very snug on the inside and they look seamless. That's it. So the reason we do it in two parts is because if you have a trim with leather, it's very hard to make it go three ways, which obviously with it coming up here, down and across, it's nearly impossible. But it's not, it's not impossible, it's improbable because Luke's done it on his. <laughs> but he said that was a fluke. But yes, so this here is just a little gap so that he can tuck the material inside of it and then he can then put on this piece and tuck that in there as well. Yeah, so everything's gonna match, which is, is perfect. This will be like a vinyl color though. This will be like a, a darker, darker color. The, um, the dash, I think it might be going the same color as the steering wheel. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> but I think it might be. If not, it'll be going like a, a charcoal gray sort of color. This is just the fascia. Um, we do two different types of subwoofers. We do the 3D printed ones. Um, or we do the wooden built ones. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really sure which one I prefer because free the printer is easier because obviously it builds it for you. However, we always have to chop and change it a little bit depending on the van because every van's different. Um, whereas the wooden one, you can just build it to the van. That's it. So this one that's in there now is for an eight inch uh, Mille Hertz sub. Um, but we have done quite a few tens before as well. For the people who like a bit more, a bit more oomph in it. <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna sound mega. I'm really excited for this. Like I say it's got thesis speakers all around, so it is gonna sound the absolute. So we've had some problems with running the wires down here and just working out. We're having a piece of acrylic which is gonna go on the outside. Uh, but on the inside of that, we're gonna have 80 tendons and two cables for the iPads. So we've had to work out how much room you need for the LEDs and those wires, uh, the distance from the base which the LEDs is going to sit on and the um, acrylic, clear acrylic on the outside, uh, just working that out, but I think we've sorted it now. This is the sense console we were talking about earlier. I don't know if you can see, but bits here are all going to illuminate along with that bit we were working out earlier. And then this bit here is also going to have cup holders and a wireless charging, charging unit. So I've got the headliner, see that illuminates down. Um, you know, every time you do a reel or a video or my brother for, zooms into my mugshot and sends it to me every single time, like, you know, story times of today, we've mm. already done it. So we've got the double stacked amps in. It's a bit of chaos right now. I'm not going to lie to you. However, both amps are in. We obviously built the board so that it's nice and high. And um, obviously all the powers run, all the speed cables are out. This is the final cable to go in. So this one talks, well, makes this amp talk to this amp. So once that's in, then that will all, all work and fire away. 
Um, Luke has trimmed this A pillar and this is ready to go in now, just like the one up there. Um, and then obviously the speakers can go in there and then away we go. The busy week to be fair, it's been good. But like I said, this van will really come together in the next few days or so as the dash is already trimmed. Obviously the sub box face is pretty much there. These are done, the A pillars are done. So we'll be cracking on and we've got an exciting thing to come, which I'm really excited for you guys to see. Also, just, just out of curiosity guys, if you were to have a center sub box in, in your van, what color would you go with this green? What color would you feel like would be best? Let us know down in the comments below. Finally, we're currently working on what is probably the lowest mileage T6 in the UK right now. Uh, 240 miles on the clock. Customer dropped it off pre-COVID from a, uh, a previous build that we'd done for him. He loved the way that we'd done his previous vehicle, where we treated him, handled it and everything. Randomly turned up here, straight from Leighton, Leighton Vans. Uh, brand new T6, fully loaded, full motion, long wheelbase, sunroof, 204 DSG. And just as I want you to build me a mega van. As a whole, we're working through it as, as a team. Sam has took the main role with fabricating, wiring the audio in. It kind of, again, doesn't look like we've done a lot, but People who know T6s, they come with the standard cream, light grey plastic. So we've, we've switched everything out for the, the Caravelle. I think it's the, the black underside of the dash, door card, swim the doors, A pillars have got our, you know, our A pillar builds that seem to be proving quite popular. Headline at the front headliner, we've just we, uh, we've trimmed uh, with the sunroof. Guy wanted, seen one of them, well, in our own demo vehicle, centre sub box again. So audio all up front it, it does sound pretty incredible the new Audison Forza amplifiers got a 12 channel amp and then a single mono block powering the whole system so it will run fully active again he's gone for thesis uh, you know flagship Audison speakers yeah we're sort of starting here and just working our way back through the project the, the back end is going to be pretty pretty special if, if we continue with the ideas that we're bouncing back and forth with the client uh, again we'll probably start custom headliner in the rear that'll be the next stage once we've got this back together i think everybody just wanted a bit of a pick me up having this vehicle sat here for so long in bits we just wanted to box box the front end off which is coming together pretty good we've also added one of our carbon steering wheels um which we we're, we're just looking at bringing these in to to sell as a as a mass product we're going to just do a standard black trim to start with um, obviously, if if people want custom colours with a custom build like this one, um, it, it's it's not a problem. We can, we can do that. That twenty tail gate. Yeah, we're just rear pods. Uh, they come in a pretty standard thing. I mean, we we do focus on you sit in the front. The audio is is in the front for you to enjoy. But we're finding all well, the hints for designing these. People want a little bit of rear fill for the passengers and, and everything like that. So yeah, we've just added a added set of pods in here. We, again, yeah, you forget about these things being here so long. It's had full actuary level ABP suspension. Pretty standard thing when your vehicle comes here. Uh, yeah, he's coming to, to run over, make sure he's happy with everything. Uh, he's actually getting married abroad in a few weeks time. And he's, this is, he wants to drive drive it so yeah we're on a bit of a bit of a deadline to try and get as much done as possible and then he's going to enjoy his his wedding and his break and then he'll probably bring it back for us to finish off and change a few bits that we haven't done this time out okay so that is the front cabin all completed now and um, we've got the b pillars all trimmed we've got the the center sub box all done with the grill as you can see the patterns match across across the entire vehicle we've got the dash all done we've got the center pocket done yeah so that concludes this part of the video however if you stay tuned for the next video we have wheels van now that is going to be a crazy build we've got ipad minis it's got crazy custom center console double subwoofer and um, down firing in the back it's going to be a crazy build and i'm excited for you guys to see it <laughs>